Adverse Section 5.2. It gives you some examples where they use the triangle angle sum theorem, the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. They also use the triangle exterior angle theorem, where if you have an exterior angle, it's equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. And then you can use that to help you on these exercises. So in number one, they give you the measure of two of the angles in the triangle. You need to find the missing measure. So we know triangles have 180 degrees. If you subtract 58 degrees and then subtract 47 degrees, you'll get what's left over. So that missing angle right there is 75 degrees. You could then classify this triangle if you wanted to. Notice how all of the angles are acute and they're all different, so it would be acute scalene. For number two, we're going to do the same exact thing, triangle angle sum theorem. Start with 180 degrees, take away the two angles that you have. That gives you 63. Number three is a little bit different. It's a right triangle, and we have a theorem for right triangles. It tells you that the acute angles of a right triangle are complementary. So all you really need to do is add these two angles together because we know they have to add up to the remaining 90 degrees in that triangle. And then you can solve that equation. We have a negative 1 and a positive 31. That gives you 30. Subtract 30 from both sides and divide by 3. Now, they just tell you to find the value of x, and we did that. If you wanted to, you could plug back in here to make sure that you're right. If that angle's 31 degrees, this one better be 59 degrees. That's just the way the math works out. Now, let's make sure. 3 times 20 is 60, minus 1 is 59. So you know that that answer is correct. Okay, numbers four through six, we're using the triangle exterior angle theorem, where we have an angle that's outside the triangle. We know that its measure is going to be equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. Those remote interiors are the interior angles of that triangle that don't touch that exterior angle. So 21 plus 34 gives you your answer. That's the value of that angle out there. You didn't need this, but it saves you time. It saves a step. This one's a little bit tougher because we got a variable. There's your exterior angle. These two interior angles better add up to 100 degrees. So you do, if you know that's 51 degrees, you know this guy has to be 49 degrees. So if you wanted to write that equation automatically, you could. You could have just said, I know 2 times the number plus 3 has to be 49. But this equation works as well. You subtract 3 from both sides and then divide by 2, x is going to be 23. Number 6, we got a variable again. These two together must add up to 94. So if that's 60, you know you got 34 degrees. That's got to be the same thing as 2 times a number. You could write this equation too. Just divide by 2 x would be 17. This next section, they ask you to find the measure of each angle. Here's your diagram. What I really like to do is just work on the diagram and then I'll fill in the angle measures later. Or maybe you could just fill in the angle measures later. They give you perpendicular lines up here. That's super important. If you have perpendicular lines, that means you have four right angles. We did that theorem a couple chapters ago. Also, we have an angle down here that's 68 degrees. Its vertical angle is the same, so it's also 68 degrees. This angle 1 is a linear pair with both of these angles, so it's supplementary to 68. So 112 would be the measure of that angle. Now, you have all these angle measures. You need to figure out these ones, and that's easy to do now because notice how we have a triangle here. And we know things about triangles now, right? So let's start with angle 6. 
Angle 6 is an exterior angle for this triangle. Angle 6 is going to be the same thing as 90 plus 68 which would be 158. That's using the same triangle x to your angle theorem. Okay. Now you could find the measure of angle 5 a bunch of different ways. Triangle angle sum theorem, you could figure out angle 5. Or you got a linear pair right here. What makes a linear pair with 158? 22 degrees. What's 90 plus 68 plus 22? It's going to be that same 180.